Hi all, today I would like to explain real-time cloth simulation style 3D mainly how to set up this style 3D. This is not a tutorial of um, cloth making but it's basically a tutorial of how we can integrate style 3D cloth inside Unreal. In marketplace you can find this style 3D real-time cloth simulation plugin but once you click on it the external links will go over here basically this is the main downloader area style 3d alter you need to uh, sign up to get the login details right now it is free but soon i think they are going to charge it after downloading these two this is the designer this is uh, unreal plugin so once you download these two you will be getting installer like this and once you install this one you need to use your credentials which is you signed in you will get a mail uh, stating that based on your mail account there will be a change it is not the same as your uh, what you exactly given your mail account it will be added like at the rate of meta.com as well as they will provide you a password i think later you can change that password also so by using that password you can uh, log in into this account this is the first step once you have this one based on your unreal version you can use this plugin so how to add this plugin Basically, you need to copy this folder of whichever the related thing and go to your project. So something like this is the style 3D project which I am using. So inside this plugins, create a folder called plugins and add this version. So right now I am using Unreal 5. I just copied this Unreal 5 version in, into this. If you are using 5.2, you can use 5.2. Okay. So once you add this one, before that you need to go to the plugins and type style 3d enable this one it will ask you to restart so once you restart you will see a icon over here click over here and login once you log in only this simulation and everything will work even though if you see this icon if you are not login you might see plugin but it won't work at all this login is very important over here and once you log in what you need is you need to export your mesh maybe right now i am using a meta human character which is meta humans okay i think i this is the meta human character i downloaded from meta humans i need to export this one to the style 3d what is the way to export the only thing is under this when you when you select any meta human character you can find a body over here okay under that so if you click on find that folder this is the body folder under that okay so you need this body mesh as well as face mesh also but you cannot do together along with face together so right now what i'm doing is i'm exporting this as asset actions export and i exported this as body mesh again go to the face here this is a face mesh i exported this also as face mesh but while exporting this adjusted a couple of settings over here because I don't want MAF targets to be exported so I removed the MAF targets because I don't want too many details and level up details also I removed because I don't need multiple meshes which will make a uh, problem to the uh, other engine so I removed these two and then exported thing so here I have two meshes but whereas I need to get as a single mesh when you are importing over here so for that what I did is I imported both the meshes into the Maya one is body mesh and face mesh and exported this together as one model so this is the model which is together so I clubbed both the models in Maya and exported as a one model as a single one and now what I will do is I will show you how exactly I did inside this I will take a new file new project so now this is a fresh one after you set up this one there is a big issue you cannot download the data into this for that you need to set up inbounds and outbounds in the firewall so when you go to control panel and inside windows things in inbounds rules you can create a bound settings like uh, style 3d inbound settings uh, which will allow everything so something like uh, allow all the corrections 
so don't uh, because by default your firewall might be blocking some of these things so the same way you need to create one more outbound settings also which will allow all the connections so what happens is data into this properly otherwise I tried a lot I could not import the data into this once you install you need to set up that one check related to that firewall settings how to do okay next thing is one more tip I will tell you when you are opening this basically when you are opening better right click and open as run as administrator which will help you to solve some of the issues also okay now the first thing is we will we need to import our avatar so for the avatar import fbx I am taking this model and here you can either add or open because there is nothing much so load as avatar is important okay it should be as avatar and I am keeping y up and the scale is in centimeters that should be fine not an issue okay and maybe skeleton blend axis also I will keep it in y okay click ok now I can see the avatar if you click over here you can see the joints also so this rig is working with the skin okay so I will just turn off this one okay now I exported that model everything I got it over here now I will add one cloth to here so to add the cloth the only thing is on the object browser you need to click over here okay so these models couple of things I downloaded but to download from the server actually there is a, a couple of models are already here inside this you can use this or even this one also is included earlier earlier if I click on this you can see a downloader from the cloud okay so all these models will take time when you download but before that just check the inbounds and outbounds as well as open it as a administrator then once you click over so now I already downloaded a couple of models from this and I am utilizing the base model of this I don't want to try too much from the other things so this is the very base model of the t-shirt so when you double click this one you can see there is a load type open and add I'm just going to add it over here and I'm keeping it in meters that's not a problem if you change it into centimeters that's, that should not be a problem just click OK so it will automatically come in a almost like in a proper size I just need to position it correctly which will fit into this area and by using right mouse button you can rotate and see so I'm not going to show you how to design it over here so there is a area where exactly we can design it uh, here you can edit this one if you want you can select this and uh, select this and you can scale to change the length of this shirt so right now I'm not changing anything I'm just keeping as it is so to see this one how it is going to behave it you just need to click on simulate normal there are multiple options over here so I'm keeping simulate normal only and just click that's it so your shirt is simulated but I want the bottom also so for that I'm just control Z to get back to the normal position and I'm going to include this as a bottom this is the model which I downloaded from the cloud this model is which is they have given default so I'm double clicking this one instead of open I'm clicking add here when you download there will be an option sometimes you can add it as avatar because sometimes you will get along with the model like uh, with the uh, with the avatars also so right now I'm disabling it as an avatar and just as a garment I'm taking and click OK okay so it will take some time because it has a lot of details so now I got this model over here I can close this one but to select this it is easier to select it from the UV layout area and you can move like this and this is the scale so when you click on it you can scale like this So if, you, if it is scaled too big then again click over here and you can reposition it I think this is too much scale maybe there is a lot of gap over here so what we can do is we can again scale it down little to match the 
yes I think this is almost okay nearly okay but it's slightly penetrating okay but by default what happened is this is freezed it is not animating so select all this data whatever you selected okay uh, I think by after scaling this position is changed a little bit I'm just turning it off because once it freezed it won't simulate actually we need a simulation and the mesh type is thickness is on pattern thickness uh, maybe I can reduce this one uh, or you can check with the top one so these are the settings like shrink ratio and uh, particle distance all these things will change a lot so if you select this one you can see this is the value like 20 is the particle distance and 2.5 is the extra collision thickness shrinking ratio is 100 and a lot of settings are there I'm not going to detail into this you need to spend a lot of time to find out what exactly the values will work for you so right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to reduce these settings because this is very heavy so I'm just changing this to 20 as uh, the other one and uh, when you check with this this is 0 and 2.1 2.5 so just this one I'm making 0 and this one is 2.5 I'm just copying the same values from the other okay so what else not assigned triangles pattern thickness on and I think rest of the things looks fine to me which is same as this this is fabric one maybe this one I think that's okay it's, it should not be any big problem okay so now just click on simulate but still this is there is no movement for the trouser yes there is this there is a moment it's simulating but it is a little bit heavy maybe to reduce it you can drag to position it if anything is uh, penetrating you can select over there and drag to reposition that one okay okay I think this looks okay to me so now what I need is uh, I can change the color materials are there so rest of the things you can find out from the help so how exactly this will work so here you can find the help also oh, there is a tutorial basic tutorial under this installation and usage and after that under the quick start it is saying how to copy the plugin how to get the plugin into the Maya uh, Unreal and uh, how to set up all this setup is already given in detail but I would like to explain little more now what is the next process so select all this one and export as SMD so here I am exporting as a SMD so I am replacing this as a shirt bottom I will rename it as bottom and while exporting export everything I don't want making model normal map you can bake also but without that also it is okay so click ok it will take long time to export for everything so meanwhile I'm just pausing it okay now it exported everything so you can see if inside this folder shirt bottom M SMD file which is 11 MB so now how to import this one into the Unreal go to the Unreal I just ha have this style 3d folder over here so I'm just dragging this one into this uh, these are the tests which is already I did so this is the new SMD file so now I how I can attach it to this character so there are two ways one is you can go inside blueprint and attach it or you can do it directly over here here means into this here what we can do is and uh, just select the body just add type add and style 3d you will you will get a style 3d object under the last 
after the body under that and here you need to add your garment which is we downloaded drag and drop the garment over here you can see it is automatically came over here okay and now you need to click on bind and save okay so once you have this one I will create a new sequencer uh, so that you will understand much better so I will add a new sequence add a level sequencer animate sequence save okay so here I am dragging this character into this you can see this is uh, automatically because meta human will get automatically controlled and everything so I am just selecting a root and creating a key over here even the both the hands I will create a key over here shift select this I just created one more key till to the few frames later I'll just move this one to down now you might see that there is nothing is moving along with that that's fine no problem because it's a simulation it will work only in the play uh, run run time only and I can rotate this I'm just keeping a key manual only I didn't put auto key so just rotate it like this key it and maybe for some time I just want this as hold so I'm just creating one more key over here and then come back I just copy it. so this is the animation I just want but how we can see this one just save this okay P click on play button and run the animation now you can see it is moving but you might see there is a slight penetration kind of thing uh, you can change these values see there is a penetration and everything is going so to, to change those things basically you need to come to the outliner select your blueprint inside details go to the style 3d here the values like uh, surface offset you can change maybe 0 0.1 and uh, maybe skin range all the settings you can try along with that to get a better quality you can try don't in increase too much which will you need a really good graphic card for this right now I am using 3060 graphic card which is 12 GB but still my settings are in the medium I am not using high quality because I am getting a lot of time crash actually okay so sub steps this is the one where you can increase the quality of your simulation so I will just try as 2 now okay I am not sure whether this will work whether it will crash or not let let me try once okay and I didn't I when I tried enabling wind I am getting crash so let's hope this will work okay just play again come to the sequencer see now you won't see that penetration so if your animation is really good then automatically al al along with that it will work and actually there is one more way you can directly attach this inside your blueprint whereas which will work as a game so that also I will try to showcase you first thing is what we need is here I would like to show you one a simple cloth which uh, I just dragged this bottom area of the shirt to a little bit distance and export it as a SMD so this simulation is very simple there is not much uh, detail in it okay now when you import this SMD into the Unreal so you will be seeing something like this this is the SMD file so what I did is I imported it into blueprint of this character and inside the style 3d I just changed this garment over here so this is a long shirt and I kept everything in 000 because shoulders are automatically matching I don't know how exactly this is going to work but the problem is when you use 
double garment something like if you use shirt as well as uh, pant at the time I am getting one issue but here with the single one it is automatically working fine so I just change its sub steps to 2 and compile save after that I just added this blueprint to your world settings now when I play this one see the cloth simulation looks much better than the earlier version but still I am using very low quality settings see you can see there is a penetration under the legs but still this is far better than the earlier version so if we can increase the sub steps maybe we can get a better quality in the runtime but still it is not 100% correct because whatever the graphic card which I am using it is very low quality for this and the engine settings also I kept it as a medium